Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. For today, I have something really fun and exciting. I am going to show you guys um, all of the stuff that I've purchased so far from the catalog. Oops, and there goes my phone. Um, I actually am going to grab all of the, um, no, I'm not going to. I already showed you guys the other stuff I got. I did get a few things um, from on stage that I never showed you guys, and I was gonna show you, but you guys will see them in an upcoming video where I might mention them. Um, but I just got my box today. I didn't, um, I didn't expedite shipping on my box, so it's taken me a little bit longer to get it, and then I had um, some, one, a couple of things on back order. Um, if you're part of my paper share, you'll know that the uh, one pack of paper was on back order. I sent an email the other day letting you guys know that. Um, I thought I was going to get it in time, but I did not. So, sorry, I'm trying to open my box over here. Okay, so here is my order form. Thought. So I just figured I'd show you guys what I got so you can get kind of an idea of what you can see projects um, or what you can see for upcoming projects. Um, one other thing, I am contemplating doing classes again. Um, if I do end up doing classes, I'm going to do them a little bit differently. Um, instead of purchasing all of the products, you will just you can just make any purchase and then you're, you get my class. So um, I'll make a video on that, but if you guys are interested in classes, let me know. Um, I, I only wanna do them if people are going to be interested in partic participate. oh my gosh, I can't even speak. I only wanna do them if people are gonna um, be interested in participating in that kind of thing. So if you see something that I'm showing you that you really wanna see in a class and you would be interested in taking that class, regardless of how I do it, um, let me know and let me know what works best for you and, um, how you would want to take that class. So to get into the fun stuff, I guess I will start with kind of the more boring things um, that are right on top. What is that? Um, okay, so I got a snail adhesive because I had a few bucks left for my Stampin' Rewards, but I just wanted to grab something. And then I got um, three packs of regular dimensionals but I also got our new mini dimensionals. So I wanted to show you guys these and just compare the size. I think I have, yeah. So you get three sheets and I think there's like 700 and something, 720 um, of the mini dimensionals you get in a pack. So let me just compare the sizes. There's a mini one. So, here, I'll put them on my hand. Here's the mini and here's the regular size. Let me bring this up a little bit just so you guys can see. It's um, quite a bit smaller, but I think they're gonna be really great for um, any of those little tiny um, items you wanna pop up. I usually cut my dimensionals or I'll cut like the edges of them. So those are gonna be absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this bad boy floating around. This is our Love Today Planner Kit, and I'm so excited to start using this. I am 110% a planner girl. I have been using um, an Erin Condren planner for the past three years, I wanna say, at least three years. So when I saw this, it's so beautiful, um, and I was a little hesitant to get it, I'll be honest, because like I said, I've been using an Erin Condren Life Planner for at least three years now. So I'm a little nervous to try a different system, but I'm also really excited to see if this is gonna be something that works really well for me. So um, I might take you guys along my journey of trying something different. Um, let me know if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I might just post something like weekly on Instagram once I get this set up and ready to go. But um, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to make room for all of this stuff. Um, okay, what is in this box? I don't know. Oh, I do know what this is. So, um, it's actually been a little while now. <laughs> 
a little while ago, I promoted to um, silver. And um, that just means that I've promoted to the next level with Stampin' Up! And when you do that, you get this super cute little necklace. It's adorable. So um, they give you, they send you this just as a congratulations for promoting. So that's what that is. I forgot that I was getting that with this order. Super exciting, but not something you can order from the catalog, so I apologize. <laughs> Okay, so one fun and exciting thing. So I'm sure you guys know that we um, stopped carrying um, Project Life stuff. I talked about it a little bit, and I didn't really talk about what was coming up to replace Project Life. Um, but now that the catalog is live, I can finally share with you guys what we have. So um, Stampin' Up! has come out with their own scrapbooking system, and it's called Memories and More. And I actually have another pack. Let me grab it. So there are four packs of memories and more cards in the um, annual catalog right now. So let me open this first and I can show you guys what everything looks like. I'm really excited for this. So um, I got all of the, well not all of them, but I got um, a good little a good chunk of uh, memories and more stuff to kind of get me started because I have decided that I'm going to do a um, every, well, I'm going to try every week to do a new scrapbook page and nothing um, super crazy. I just want to kind of do a better job at um, keeping track of all of the little things that happen in our lives. I feel like, you know, I, I do an okay job at jotting down and making note of all the big things that happen, but on a weekly basis, I don't do a very good job at like this little tiny funny thing happened and those are the memories that I wanna have. So I am, I've decided that I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna try to do a one scrapbook page a week. So this is the album that we have and this is called this is the Basic Black 6x8 album. Super cute. So it's still the ring style. So that's the album. And then we have pocket pages. I'm trying to really honestly remember everything that I've got. Um, okay, so we have pocket pages. So you'll see that this is very similar to Project Life. Um, it's just Stampin' Up's version of Project Life. So we have, this was one of the... Um, combo packs I think so there's a bunch of different sizes of um, our little sheets here and then I want to show you guys the different card packs so like I said there are four different card packs I've already taken out this first one which is color theory so, um, so these all go with the sweets that we have um, in the catalog so this one goes with um, the color theory is that what it's called color theory I don't know and I don't know where my catalog is because my desk is now a mess. Um, but this is all about, here, let's see if we can open these up. I thought I took them all out and opened them, but maybe I just took it out of the box and saw. So here are some of the cards. Oh, I didn't know it comes with clear ones. That's awesome. So these are all journaling cards. I've talked about it before. I love Project Life, and um, especially if you're trying to do something like I wanna do, where you're doing um, memories every week, even for like the small stuff, Project Life in this um, memories and more type of system is really great for that because it's very easy to just grab your cards, slide them into the slots and um, start scrapbooking. It's very, very easy. So I'm super excited to start um, my memories and more album and uh, see how it goes. Like I said, I'm trying to, oh look, I had no idea that all of this came in here. So you get some clear ones, here are some stickers. I honestly had no idea. So that's really cool. Okay, so that is the color theory pack. Let's move on to the next one. Um, but as I was saying, if you are like me and you want to kind of keep those little memories, I think it's a great system because you just throw stuff in there and you go. So I'm really excited to um, start playing with the um, our new memories and more stuff. I'm not going to open all of these. Um, this one is bundled with love. 
bundle of love, sorry. Um, I lied, I am going to open them because I want to see what they look like. So it looks like they all come, I p apparently didn't read the descriptions well enough because it looks like they all come with a sticker sheet and then some of these fun uh, clear ones. Ooh, this one has foil on it. Oh, here's another sticker sheet. Super pretty. Um, this definitely goes with that sweet, obviously. And then you have two packs of the uh, three by, what are these, three by four? I think these are three by four. Ooh, this video is probably gonna be a little long. So stinking cute. This one definitely looks more like um, baby oriented, if that's what you wanna call it. But these are some really cute patterns as well. So it doesn't have to be just for babies. I mean, obviously this one has a little onesie on it. So yeah, but oh, the other side has a onesie on it as well. But you don't, I mean, a lot of them are, oh, I already opened that one. A lot of them you can um, use for all occasions. So, ooh, here's this one. What does this say? I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. See, that's so adorable. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for because I don't have kids yet. But, so some super fun cards. I can't wait to play with those. So that one's beautiful. Again, that one is the Bundle of Love set. Oh man, and now I'm gonna have cards flying all over the place. Okay, this one here is Petal Garden. I'm super excited about this one. I remember looking at this one and it looks so beautiful. Okay, let's get this bad boy open. Oh, look at these. Okay, I'm so excited. Yeah, I wasn't planning on this video being super long, but we're just gonna go in and open up everything because I want you guys to be able to see all of these new products, especially memories and more. I feel like that's something really important to kind of, um, I don't know the word that I'm looking for. I'm seriously having such a brain fart lately, especially when I go to film. I think this one, uh, memories, that's what I was gonna say. Memories and more is something that I feel like really needs to be highlighted because it is new um, for Stampin' Up. So. I just wanna make sure you guys understand what it is, you know what you're getting in each of the products and um, each of the different packs. These are absolutely beautiful, these uh, gold foil overlays, and then you have some die cuts, super pretty. And the other thing with the memories and more stuff, this doesn't have to be for scrapbooking. If you guys saw, um, I did a card not that, or a video not that long ago using some of our Project Life cards. Um, where I made a greeting card using Project Life. These are so pu so pretty, so pretty. Like this one, such a beautiful day. And you can, they're just so beautiful. You can use them for tons of different things. It doesn't have to be for scrapbooking or doing a, um, a memories and more album. You could do, you could use them for cards. You could, um, you, I've heard of people using the little journaling cards um, to write little notes to their kids and put it in their lunch every day. I know it's summer, but even just give your kids a little note every day that they wake up during the summer, put it on their door and let them know that you're thinking about them that day. If they go to like a summer camp or something, I think that would be a cute idea. So there, the possibilities are endless. You don't have to use these cards to scrapbook if scrapbooking is not your thing. They are just absolutely beautiful cards that you can use for a ton of different things. And they are double-sided. I'm not doing a very good job at showing you guys the cards and both sides, but they're all double-sided um, for the most part. So super, super pretty. Again, that is the Petal Garden. And then the last one that we have here is Perfect Days. I can't remember what this one looks like. I feel like this one was very, um, well, I was gonna say summary. No, I must be thinking of it, the other one. Okay, so again, this is Perfect Days, and let's cut these bad boys open. Okay. Dun, da, da, da. They're all very nicely packaged as well. These are super cute. Ooh, I love that one. So, so, so adorable. And the awesome thing about all of these cards, I didn't even mention, one, they coordinate with the sweets, obviously. You've seen um, a few of them coordinate wonderfully. Um, but they also coordinate with all of our colors. So that's one thing that I have a hard time with when I scrapbook especially, is finding, um, 
Oh, I love these. It's finding products that coordinate together. So finding colors that coordinate, um, all of that kind of stuff. That's honestly one of the main reasons why I initially started um, with Stampin' Up! and became a demonstrator is because I wanted products that matched really, really well. And Stampin' Up! does that perfectly. So all of these cards are gonna match all of our colors. So when you stamp a sentiment for a page or when you do some journaling, anything like that, you'll have your colors match absolutely perfectly. These are cool. I don't know why they're on. Those are like clear stickers and then you have this one. So, so, so adorable. Okay, super excited about those. Again, be on the lookout. I'm gonna try to do videos. So I'll probably be doing two videos a week. As long as I can keep up with the scrapbooking, I will be doing two videos a week. Um, and one of those videos will be doing a page in my little um, six by eight album here. So hopefully I can stick to that. I don't know, I just made it a real thing because I announced it out in the open, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pulling stuff out of here as I find it. Oh, I guess this is another thing that goes with Memories and More. We do also sell these uh, journaling pens. So I'm always on the lookout for a really good black pen to journal with. So I just grabbed these. We will see how, um, how they do, how I like them. I don't know. We shall find out. Um, let me... We'll save the paper for the very end. So some random, more random things that I got. Um, so I got another pack of our foam strips just because I'm running low on mine and um, I knew that I was going to be wanting some. I also got some Flirty Flamingo Baker's Twine. I love our Baker's Twine, so I'm excited to get uh, the Flirty Flamingo. This is um, our new multi-purpose adhesive sheets, and I'm trying to see. Let's see. I know there's a tab somewhere on here to open these. These are really, really cool, and I will be doing a video um, showing you guys how to use these, but I've always wanted Stampin' Up! to come out with come out with something like this. So it's really cool. You um, you basically put your a piece of paper on here, and then you die cut that through, and then your die cut has adhesive on the back of it. So these are adhesive sheets, so you don't have to fumble around with like glues and stuff like that. So those are gonna be really cool. I will definitely show you guys um, how to use those. And then I just got our silicone craft sheet because I got our new, well, I'm throwing things. I got our new embossing paste and the goodies that go with them. So I got the craft sheet because you can't actually dye this embossing paste of different colors. So um, ooh, there's, am I gonna be able to open this? Um, you can, so the embossing paste comes in white, but you can dye it different colors and we recommend using the um, silicone sheet so that it doesn't get all over your, surf your work surface um, or your table or wherever you craft. And it's really easy to pick up and um, clean on the silicone sheet. So this is what the embossing paste looks like. I will absolutely 110% be doing a video on this super duper soon. I already have a couple ideas in mind. So it's just a paste like this. I just wanted to kind of see what the texture of it was. Um, we have these fun little palette knives that I'm using right here. Um, it comes in a set of three, so you get one that looks like that. I might as well just show you guys. This video is gonna be long anyway, so. Um, there's one that's more pointed, and then this is more of like a scraper, so that's gonna be really good to use. Gosh, I'm making great segues right now. That one's gonna be good to use with our new, what are these called? Our Pattern Party Decorative Masks. So these are essentially stencils and they are going to work great with your embossing paste. So we have four different designs. This first one is more of like a medallion. I think this is really pretty. And the cool thing I'm, I was kind of thinking about this, you don't have to use the whole thing. You could just use like this little inner circle or you could use this flower or this like kind of larger flower. So you can definitely use bits and pieces of this to get a really, really fun look. So that's one. 
the next one is this fun diamond pattern. There are some uh, samples in the catalog using this uh, mask. I don't know what I was just trying to think of using this mask and our embossing paste. And I think they used green, I wanna say. Um, they tinted it green. There are some really pretty um, samples using that that you can find in the catalog. We also have bricks, which is super fun. Um, but you could turn it different ways to get a different look. You could even do it diagonally. I think that would be cool. So definitely schmoove them. See, you don't have to use them as bricks. You could use them in a, a hundred different ways. And then this one's my favorite, the clouds. I already have ideas of what I can do with this one. So I'm super duper excited about that and our embossing paste and all of that stuff in general. Okay, next up, I'm gonna grab all of my embellishments that I got. Um, I, don't, I didn't get everything. I didn't get any, anywhere close to everything. And then I got some stuff from the pre-order as well. Um, okay, so these are some of the embellishments that I grabbed. And um, if you guys are not subscribed to my newsletter, you probably don't know, or if you didn't get a catalog from me, you probably don't know, but I'm actually doing a special throughout the entire month of June. Anyone that makes an order of $50 or more is going to get one embellishment from the new catalog um, sent to you free of charge for me, just as like a little fun thing uh, to celebrate the new catalog launch. So that's super exciting. Like I said, anybody in the month of June that makes a purchase of $50 or more will get an embellishment. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. I don't really want to make that determination because I don't know things could go on back order or whatever. Um, so we shall see when that time comes uh, closer to the end of the month. Um, so the first thing here are the boxwood wreath embellishments and I got the, what is it? The at home stamp set, I think something like that. So I'm so excited to make a card and put this little wreath on there. Um, there are tons of other things that you can do with these. I've already seen people start to post ideas and stuff online. So I'm excited to use those. I also got the mini gift bows. Now, I was thinking these were going to be a little bit bigger and we weren't going to get as many, but look at how tiny they are. They are absolutely adorable. I am so in love. And there are a ton in here. You get 45 bows. I must not read the descriptions very well in the catalog because I there are some things that have just really shocked me today. <laughs> so I think these are super duper cute and I love this bright color, the bright pink there. Super pretty. I'll save those for next. Um, the next item, or the next embellishment that I got was the corrugated elements. So these go with the, um, oh, what is it called? Coffee Cafe um, Sweet. But you don't have to use it with that sweet, obviously, but it gives you that kind, the corrugated gives you that kind of coffee vibe. Um, but you could flip them over and they're just plain cardboard on the back. So you could color these, you could stamp on here, super cool, but you get um, a bunch of little embellishments and they're super cute. So I'm excited to use those. I don't know how many are in here. There are 20, sorry, 24 in, um, elements in there. So super cute. And then we also have new sequins. So our sequins are different. Um, if you have the old ones, I didn't mind the old sequins, uh, but I definitely like these better. Our old sequins had like stars and hearts and I just never really found myself using those shapes. Um, I like sequins for shaker cards. And so it was a little difficult to make sure that I got all good shaker bits. But now look at our new sequins. So these, we have two different kinds. This one is the iridescent assortment. So you have all of these fun colors. There's a couple different sizes in here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Um, I don't know if my camera is focusing right now or not. I can't really tell, but that is um, one set. And then the other set are the metallics. Oh man. <gasps> That little hint of pink in there, super, super pretty. So that is, um, that's what our new sequins look like. I am super excited. I cannot wait to make a shaker card with our new sequins. You guys just don't even know. Okay, now on to the, oh, one other thing. 
before I get to the stamp sets. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry guys. I keep making you wait. I didn't actually get that many stamp sets now that I'm looking at it. Um, but I have a bunch on my uh, wish list, so <laughs> I'll be getting them eventually. Just don't tell my husband that. One thing that I did really want to grab right off the bat, though, is this um, ruffled, what is this called? The Ruffled Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. So this is one of those new folders that we started carrying that is super thick, and it really, really gives a good, deep impression on your paper. Um, so this one is Ruffles, and I just think it's going to be super cute, especially with this... Um, Oh, what is this suite called? The Petal Garden. I just think these two go so beautifully together. So I'm really excited to use a lot. Okay, we're going to do paper last. So next we will do the stamp sets and um, framelits. I guess I didn't get that many. Oh, no, there's some other framelits. Um, we will do all of that stuff next. So one thing that I did grab is the Circle Tab Punch. This goes with... Oh, uh, what is it? Tabs for everything, I think is what the name of that stamp set is. Um, it's one that I was given from on stage. So this actually coordinates with that stamp set. It comes in a bundle. I just got the stamp set, so I wanted to get the punch so that you can, I can punch out the little um, tabs. So I grabbed that. Then for my stamp set, let me try to get these all in order so I can show you what I got. Um. Oh, I was trying to figure out why I had another set of framelits. I also got the pocket, man, I can't remember what that stamp set's called now. The, the one with the pocket, I got that one um, from on stage as well. And again, I just got the stamp set. I didn't get the framelits, so I wanted to get the uh, framelits to match and I'm not gonna be able to find the stamp set. You guys know which one I'm talking about. I'll put the name of it on the screen as well so you know what I'm trying to explain. I don't know. Okay, but this is the pocket framelit dies and it coordinates with that stamp set. Um, I'm just gonna go grab it. Uno momento. Okay, so I just went ahead and grabbed the stuff that I got. So it is pocket full or pocket of sunshine, and that goes with this um, framelit set that I got. So you can cut out the pocket, some sunglasses, super cute stuff. I'm I think this one's gonna be really really fun to make um, cards for. Anytime you give money to somebody, I think that one's gonna be fun to use. Um, tabs for everything, I just wanted to show you. This is the bundle that comes together. So this one's actually a great set. You actually get 53 stamps in here and they're little tiny. This one's gonna go great with our planner. So that's really why I was happy to get this one because those two are gonna coordinate really, really well together. And then the other stamp set that I got from On Stage is Ribbon of Courage, which is a beautiful set. Um, so I got that one as well. Now back to the... Okay, I think my camera just stopped recording. So I don't know the last thing that I said, but um, I, the bundle that I'm showing right now is the Build-A-Bike. So you have the Bike Ride stamp set and then these framelits, and it's one of those scene builder sets. So I really like building scenes. Um, I think I, I was saying that I've never been very good at drawing, so to be able to build a scene using um, stamps is really appealing to me because I get to kind of create a piece of art without having to be super artistic, so I like that. Um, and then the other bundle that I got was the Coffee Cafe. So this is the Coffee Cafe um, stamp set. And then the framelits are the Coffee Cup framelits. Just to open these really quick. One thing I did want to note is if you don't like coffee, you might still like this set. You don't have to utilize it as a coffee set. And I'll show you guys some things that you can do um, that's not coffee related. There's tons of different stuff you can do. Um, it, I mean, it obviously is geared towards coffee drinking. You have coffee beans and stuff like that, but you can take this cup and your ice and the straw and make iced tea or lemonade or anything like that. Um, so this is a really great set. Even if you don't like coffee, I think you might like it. Then the rest of the stamp sets that I got don't coordinate with um, a punch or framelit. Uh, the first one is Your Priceless, which is adorable. 
Um, I just like the, I don't, I just was really drawn to this one. <laughs> um, I like how you can create the different gems and I really, really like the sayings or the um, sentiments. So that one's gonna be fun to play with. Oops. Uh, the next one is more than chocolate. Oh my gosh. So I saw this one and I knew I had to have it right away. I just, again, it's the whole being able to build a scene thing. You can build your little chocolate box with all your little chocolates in it. I just think it's absolutely adorable. Okay, that time my camera died. So <laughs> the next one that I have is Always and Forever. And I really think that this one's going to be overlooked. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I got married last September and it was all um, wood and very rustic. So I wish I would have had this to do some stuff like some cards or something. I don't know. I just think it's so pretty and I couldn't pass it up. Um, so I'm excited to use that one. I'm absolutely in love with that stamp set. I just can't even get over it. Um, the next one that I have is Happiest of Days. And this is super cute. I like it because it's very simple birthday. I think you're gonna be able to do some really, really simple but beautiful birthday cards with this one. So I'm super excited to start using it a lot. And then the last one is Floral Stamens. And okay, if you have not seen the samples for the stamp set in the catalog, you need to go right now. I don't know what page it's on, but you need to go and look at those samples because they absolutely sold me on this stamp set. I cannot wait to stamp this and then color in these flowers. I just, I think it's gonna be one of those sets that I just can't get enough of because of how drop dead gorgeous it is. So I'm really excited to play with that one. But those are all the stamp sets that I got. Like I said, I thought I got more, but I think I was so involved in getting like paper and um, all a bunch of new embellishments and stuff that I didn't really pay attention to stamp sets, which is okay because I can just place another order. So um, I got duplicates of some paper. So it's gonna take me a minute to kind of sift through here. Um, I got another pack of the, um, that's the wrong uh, label on here. This is not fresh florals, unless I'm losing my mind, but I don't think that's fresh florals. Hang on, hang on. Nope, that's not really color theory. They just have the wrong label on it on accident. So I got, um, I actually got a couple packs of color theory for my um, paper share. But uh, that's just one there, so let me put some other stuff. I also got, here, let me move my catalog out of the way. I also got um, some more wood textures, which I absolutely love. I got a few packs of this one, which is Petal Garden. So I haven't seen this one, so let's open this bad boy up. Oh no, things are starting to fall. Avalanche. Okay, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time going through the paper. Um, I'm just going to quickly flip through them. Um, but this paper is absolutely gorgeous. I love this paper so much. So this one's so pretty. Can't get enough. I think this pattern is probably my favorite from that quick little look-see I just had. Um... Now let's go on to our 12 by 12 pieces. So this first one here is the birthday memories. And this one is pretty cool. So I didn't even think, well, I did think about it and I decided that I didn't want the stamps that are the framelits that go with it, but now I kind of want them. So <laughs> I'll probably end up getting it. But um, this paper is all about birthdays, as you can see, but the backside looks like it has um, just a very generic design on for a few of them. So you don't have to use them for birthdays, but obviously some of them are definitely geared towards a birthday. So there's that one, super, super cute. The, what I was going to say though, is that some of the prints, like the dogs, I don't know about that little girl that we just saw, um, but definitely those dogs, I think. And then, whoops. I know for sure this guy here, maybe the cake, and then all of these characters, 
The framelits that go with this coordinating stamp set and, um, or the coordinating bundle, I will actually cut out these characters from this paper. So you'll get that really cool um, look like you stamped it or something, but um, you don't really have to put in much work because you're not fussy cutting it out. You are just cutting them out with framelits. So I am a little disappointed now that I have the paper um, that I didn't get the coordinating framelits, but that just means I can place another order, right? Yes. Oh, I have things falling on my desk. Trying to make room. Okay, we'll try that now. Next up, let me move some of these. That's a duplicate. Um, okay. Next we have the whole lot of lovely. And let's open this one up and see. I love our designer series paper. I just, I love pattern paper. If you guys saw my room, my craft room tour, you saw I have like a whole stack of paper that I just don't even use. Oh, it's bad. It's a problem. So these are really pretty. I like this print. Ooh, I love these polka dots. So stinking cute. Some little flowers. This one's just very floral and um, kind of gardeny, if you want to gardeny, if that's a word. I don't know. Ooh, I love this print. Oh, so pretty. So, some really fun floral kind of. Um, I don't know. I would say they're. It's more of a non-traditional floral, which I really, really like. Let me. Filter through the duplicate. Okay, next up is the Foil Frenzy, and this is specialty designer series paper. So if you're not used, or if you're not familiar with our uh, designer series paper, as you're looking through, if you see anything that says specialty designer series paper, it means that there's something that's unique about the paper. Um, this one in particular is all uh, foiled. So all of the sheets are foiled. And I think there are three different designs and then one sheet in each color of those different designs. So as you can see, we have th uh, four different colors of foiled polka dots. So pretty. Then we have stripes here. These are gorgeous. I think these would be really fun to make boxes out of. And it's on this craft paper, um, not this past occasions catalog, but the one before, there was this paper in there that was this craft. And it, I think it, they were foiled actually. And it was my absolute favorite paper. I could not get enough. So that's super pretty. And maybe this is the last one. Yeah, so you get the three different designs. This is kind of like an arrowy print. So gorgeous. So that one's super pretty. Oh, I seriously love our paper. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Here is another specialty designer series paper. Um, and this one is special because they are all like coloring book sheets. So this is the Just Add Color Specialty Designer Series paper. And it's Just Add Color because that is simply what you do. You're going to just add color. So we have this tea kettle with the cups, super cute. And this is thick paper so that you can color, you can watercolor on here, I would assume. Um, and the paper should hold up nicely. Ooh, this is cute with the little watering cans and flowers, the little town or the little buildings. I love this, the In the City um, Hostess set. So, so, so excited to start playing with that one. That'll actually probably be my next card because I already have some ideas for what I wanna do. Um, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Next up we have this, which is um, a little under the sea theme some feathers, super cute, some leaves, and then we have the same design. So you get two sheets of each of the designs, which is not a bad deal. You can color your little heart away. Um, here, let me pull some of these out. This one, this one. Um, okay trying to rush through this because this video is already super duper long. Next up, 
we have our, what is this one called? Coffee Break Designer Series Paper. Okay, I love this one. I love the color scheme. I love the theme. I love everything about it. <laughs> so we have this print, and then on the back we have these beans, which are super cute. I love that one. We have this one, which is adorable. I love that kind of chevron pattern. And then some nice fun leaves on the back. Some stripes. Ooh, this one's fun because it's like the rings of your coffee if you set your coffee cup down. But this one is also really versatile because you don't have to make it that. You could make it something else. So always keep that in mind. Just because it's supposed to be one thing doesn't mean it has to be that. I love this blue uh, pattern over here. And some more coffee cups and coffee pots and black and white. And then, ooh, I love that wood texture. And then these polka dots are adorable. Oh, and I love these little hearts. So, so stinking cute. And then you just get, um, you get two sheets of each. Sometimes they put them together where they have like the two sheets of the same on top of each other. And then sometimes they go through like the whole sear, the whole set, and then they do another whole set. I don't know why they do that like that sometimes. Sometimes they do it one way and sometimes they do it another way. I don't know, I don't understand. Okay, I think we only have a couple more to go through. So let's, I will talk as fast as I can. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't have Eastern Palace. Um, I It's on back order and then I had never gotten it from our pre-order of the Eastern Palace suite. So that's life. I mean, I think it'll be here soon, hopefully. This is doo -doo -doo -doo, Bundle of Love Specialty Designer Series Paper. So with this one, you will see that you get two sheets and two or um, you get four sheets of each pattern two in a pink color and two in a blue color now the thing that makes this specialty designer series paper is you flip it over and you get gold foil for the same pattern so kind of like the cards that coordinate with this paper the memories and more cards um it is you know Blue and pink is very baby themed, baby oriented. But if you use this gold side, you could use this for a million different things. It doesn't have to be baby themed, doesn't have to be baby shower themed, anything like that. It's just really beautiful paper. So it's the same thing. You get, I think, three or four different designs. So we have this fun kind of like oval, random shape. And then you have the gold foil, which is absolutely beautiful. And then this is the other design. It's kind of like vines or like little um, berries maybe. So that's in the blue and the pink. And then the gold foil, which is absolutely beautiful. So I'm obsessed with those for sure. See, I'm dropping things. Okay, I think just two more to go. I may miss one, but uh, if I miss one, I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm doing my best guys. <laughs> okay, so this one is the Naturally Eclectic Designer Series Paper. So again, I think these are a lot of kind of florally designs. Um, these kind of look more like peaches to me if I'm being totally honest. I like this design though. Ooh, and I love these dots. Oh, so pretty. Oh, and these little X's, super, super cute. Ooh, this like kind of watercolor washed look. Love that. Oh, I love this one too. I love these colors together. And then just another wash. This will go great with my stamp set that I don't know why I was drawn to. Which one is that? The Your Priceless? I don't know why. Ooh, and then kind of a gradient or the two colors blending into the middle. This pattern I'm not a huge fan of. But this one I don't mind as much. Um, I think this is a little too busy for me, but I don't mind the stripes. So, um, you know, that's always a thing. If you don't like one side of your paper, there's always a design on the other side. Okay, and I think the last one, let me see. I hope this is the last one, because I just dug through that box as best as I could. And I think this is the only other one that I see. So, this is our be Merry, yes, Be Merry Designer Series Paper. Obviously, it has a Christmas theme to it, but it is still absolutely adorable. This one, see, like this pattern doesn't have to be Christmas. This could be just a green geometric pattern. It doesn't have to say Christmas. Just like this red one, I wanna use this in a card like tomorrow. 
It doesn't say, it doesn't have to be Christmas. These trees are a little Christmassy, so I would say that. <laughs> then we have some little starbursts and like a speckle. Ooh, I like that. This is adorable. And then some stripes. I love the little speckles. Those are adorable. And some reindeer. And a little houndstooth pattern. And then some more bursts. And some mittens. Super cute. Okay, so longest video ever, but I think I'm finally done now. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to mention one more time, I'm thinking about doing classes. I have a couple of different options, but let me know in the comments um, if you guys would even be interested in doing classes. I wanna give you guys stuff that you wanna see, and um, I'm, I really wanna do some classes to kind of expand um, and get a little more personal with you guys. I did them before, and they were really great, but then I started kind of losing um, interest in them, so it just wasn't worthwhile to do them. So I really am interested in doing it again as long as I can get some people to that want to kind of participate and stuff. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Also, don't forget that I'm doing that awesome promotion through the month of June, where if you spend $50 or more, you will get a um, one of our new embellishments from the catalog sent to you for free from moi. And um, I'm super excited about that one too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing all this fun stuff. Let me know also if there's anything that you saw that you really, really, really wanna see a video on, and I will get working on that as well. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!